This I wanted to point out that, you know, the United States have, has been aware of this virus since January. As a matter of fact, they're sort of scooping up all these people who decided to dump all of their stock because they were aware that this mm -hmm. was coming. Mm -hmm. So there's enough blame to go around. To blame China, yes, but also our own as you said, our own government did not look out for us. And once they knew, we didn't hear anything about this in January. I don't remember anyone mentioning this. Am I wrong in, in saying this? Well, certainly the press was mentioning it. I mean, it was being widely reported. It was on the front page of every newspaper. But yet, we had a president that was in denial about it. And, you know, we'll be, I, uh, a few weeks ago, I, I started to see a lot of posts of healthcare workers uh, working on the front lines of this crisis who were completely, uh, who, who said that they were just so unprepared in their hospitals. They didn't have enough supplies. They didn't have enough masks. And I just thought, this is just, it, it's astounding. We did have months to prepare for this, right? And so I started mm -hmm. um, posting about this and I was receiving countless uh, messages from healthcare workers, sanitation workers saying that so many of them are using the same masks over and over again, and they're not yeah. even the, the N95 masks. Mm -hmm. and, and I don't know if you saw, there's a photo circulating of a, a, a group of um, nurses in New York who are wearing glad trash bags yeah. to protect yeah. themselves. Yeah. I mean, we have the most well-equipped army on earth, or, or military on earth. We would never let our men and women in uniform go out into battle unprepared. And that is what we're doing right now. Our doctors, our nurses, all of our healthcare workers, sanitation workers, these are people on the front lines of a battle, of a war, and they're going in there just completely unprepared. And it's just, it is absolutely ludicrous. And so I made this overture on this most of my social media. Yeah. Exactly. There are a lot of people that are hoarding supplies and I can understand why people would, would want to do so. But, but we need to make sure that our, our, you know, our soldiers on the front lines have what they need to fight this battle. I mean, you saw in Italy, uh, 14 to 17 doctors have died in this crisis. We've yeah. already had healthcare workers die in this country. This can't go on. Mm -hmm. And again, I, I, I don't want to uh, lay blame and I don't want it, this to be a Trump bashing fest, fest, but we had months to prepare for this. We could have at least yeah, made sure that months. our hospitals ha were stockpiled with, with their own weapons. Yeah. Uh, Lisa, I know that your husband is a doctor, and as you said, he uh, hasn't seen anything like this in a long time. I just want to know from his perspective and your perspective as the wife of a doctor, I'm hearing horror stories and reading horror stories about families that have to quarantine away uh, you know, from their husbands and wives that are working on the front lines. How are you all doing, and how is he doing? We're fine. I mean, my husband isn't actually practicing anymore. He's working in biotech, but he's just been reading uh, and absorbing uh, the, the, the medical documentation that has become available. And he's sounding the alarm like so many um, people in the medical field and virologists. I mean, they say that the way to, to try and overcome this is our whole country has to lock down because this virus has a, a lifespan of what, a couple of weeks. So if people, mm -hmm. you know, lock down, right, it, it, that leaves us enough time for the virus to die when it's out, out on services. And people in that amount of time will be able to tell whether they have been afflicted and, and be able to quarantine so that they can get through the virus. But it's just so willy nilly. Yeah. You know, you have some states that are locking down. You have some states that are not taking and heeding the warnings uh, uh, sufficiently. And we, we have a, a, a commander in chief who's saying, well, by Easter, hopefully we'll be back to normal mm -hmm. again. I mean, it's just it's to me, it's just to, it's ludicrous. Lisa, in my home state of Arizona, the Grand Canyon still open. I mean, I think wow. I think that's absolutely blasphemous. And again, I think there's a lot of people that are going to have to pay for a lot of things. But I don't understand why what's happening in major cities hasn't trans transcended to other parts of the country. It's horrible. Well, Lisa well, you look at yeah. you look at Korea. They jumped into action right away, and and they have so few cases now. I mean. It, the way we're going in this country, you know, you have some states that are taking this very, very seriously, but we're so far gone. I mean, we, 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 we have taken so much time that this is just going to be prolonged for so, for so long. It, I mean, who knows when we're going to get a handle on this at this rate?